Hello everybody and welcome to another installment of Stay Home Church, the devotional series where we aim to keep you encouraged, connected with the Word of God and connected with each other. Today's text, I just want to dive right in. We're reading from Matthew 7 verse 13 and 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only few find it. And what Jesus is really talking about here is that the narrow road, the road that leads to life, is the culture of the kingdom of God. And uh, it's doing the next right thing and saying no to and depriving yourself of the next wrong thing. It's a, it's a narrow road because not many people are on this road and, uh, and it sometimes can feel quite lonely you might be the only person in a given context that lives like this. You might be the only person in your work situation or in your family who wants to follow God and follow His ways. Because following the narrow path means you're on a road that looks more and more different and is more and more set apart from the ways of the world. But the good news is, and what I really want us to focus on, is that it leads to life. And this is not just survival. This is not just getting by. This is the abundant life that Jesus has for us. So even though it sometimes feels like a sacrifice, really this is the only way we're going to be satisfied and happy and have a fulfilled life in Christ. There are three responses we should have to this text. The first is, thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus that you have put me on this narrow path. Thank you that I can have relationship with you. Thank you that you are drawing me closer and closer to you. It's not because of my goodness, it's because of your faithfulness and your goodness. The second response is, and if you haven't heard this yet, but at the moment God is so involved in a global work where he's purifying his church. And this has much to do with being on this narrow path. Right now where you're at in lockdown, I wanna encourage you, invite God to do a purifying work in you. Invite God to prune you, to take things off you. Invite him to be the potter and to mend and make. Allow him to exercise his will. He has good things for you and he wants an abundant life for you. The third and final response and something I want to encourage you to do at home is cry out to God for those who are on the broad road that leads to destruction. Remember all of us were once on this road and for all of us it's true that someone stood in the gap for us. They prayed for us. They shared the gospel with us. Pray to God and ask that you can be that person for someone else. Have a great day. I encourage you to do that.